Neither side has given an inch through the first four games of this series, and we expect nothing less here tonight with game number five. Welcome. Enough top, enough height. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, what a save in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Colorado's taking possession in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up on a stop. McCarr is gaining momentum. And the puck skips away after that move. McCarr is close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play, guys. Denies that opportunity. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Scooped up along the wall by O'Connor. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Takes it into the slot. Big save in front. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Morrissey. Back to the blue line. Solid check to slow him down. And he's taken down the officials arm, signaling for a penalty. Takes a shot. Tremendous save by Hillebuck. Let's see the call here. Morrissey's called for tripping. He's off to the box. to the ice, their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. With the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Turned aside with a glove by Hellebuck. Hellebuck's a goalie who seems to get better when he faces a high volume of shots, guys. That's his workhorse zone ability, and he knows he needs to be sharp to help his team win. Winnipeg's won the face-off deep in their own end. Trying to clear. And they put it off the glass and out. Well, the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get you this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you've got to get it on your stick and off your stick. And it goes off the arm and it stays out. Huffington's got to be so frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight. Just when he thinks it's going to go in, here's the medal. Moves it up. Here's a short pass to Byron. Off the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the puck clears the zone. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. And there's another stop. Puck clears the zone. Taken by Byron. The Avs can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and a good aggressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Oh, what a smart heads up play. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. The Jets get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Gets it out of his own end. Grabbed along the board by Morrissey. Denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. 
Johansson's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Avs win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. The Jets, they've got a two on one. advantage and they capitalize and executed with it. Winnipeg's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. looking to even things up here in period number one as they still trail despite out shooting the opposition and as the puck is dropped they win the draw here inside the defensive zone broken up by Byram O'Connor's lugging the puck quick feed to Johnson now a quick pass to Wood the Avs looking against the half wall puck picked up by DeMello tosses it on to Morrissey Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. O'Connor's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James. And to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Avs win the defensive zone faceoff. And now it's to Drouin. Headman pass. Great save. Hellebuck's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Rontanen's a warrior, and he knows the importance of sticking with it when the team is down, guys. Look to him to try to use his zone ability to spark the offense here. The Avs will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Colorado's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Here we go! Look at this! They're really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Desperately trying to get it out. Big shot off the glass. They get it out. Here we go! They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the ozone. Faceoff coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender he is fatigued. Colorado's won the draw. From the point, looks to make something happen. Moves it to Manson. Puck grabbed by Niederreiter. Lowry's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Colorado's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Stones up with the blocker. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Puts it in deep. Quick pass 
to Lowry. Slides the puck ahead to Appleton. Lowry's moving it ahead. Sends it into the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Wood. Excellent heads up play to knock that puck down. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. The Jets pick up Steven on the attack. Sean Attack completely fails on that. Bolton's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck to Wood. Here's a short pass to O'Connor. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Quick feed down low. Heads to the back of the net. Quick feed to Colton. Puck scooped up by DeMello. Colton's on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible score! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Smart play by the shooter here. The presence of mind to recognize that there's a lot of traffic and put it to the net. And the goaltender, I mean, he can't see this puck, James. We can't see where it is with all of these bodies net front, and it finds the back of the net. Winnipeg's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. Moves it quickly over to Truway. A little back and forth. Moves it to Ehlers. Monaghan's got it against the boards. Taken along the wall by Ehlers. That's turned aside from the blocker. Let's it fly. Another stop by the goaltender. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Quick pass to Ayafalo. Great reach with the poke check. There's a collision with some authority. Morrissey's got him along the wing. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Cogliano. Dumps the puck in. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. They dump it in, and the D's going to change it up here. Oh, and that battle ends as the puck gets loose. Knocked away with the stick by McCarr. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Niederreiter. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Here in the late goings of the period, Winnipeg's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Nemestikov's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Poked away by Barron. Winnipeg's in now. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Sandberg. And he's knocked off the puck there. Nice dish from the left wing. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Love save made by Hellebuck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Avs would love to even things up before the end of this period as they trail despite being the busier team in the shots department. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save by Hellebuck. The Jets have it now. out with the glove save. Wow! Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Colton's won the faceoff. Takes the feed, moving in. The Avs carry it along the wall. With the block! Johansson's won the draw. And that doesn't reach the net. 
Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Looks to pass it to Gerard. And now he moves it to Parisi. Fires it on net. Stops the rocket of a shot. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Hellebuck's putting on a clinic tonight, and he's been busy right from the get-go of this game, right from puck drop, and it's almost as if he got dialed in right away, and he built momentum, and he's feeling it. Here's a short pass to Johansson. The Avs gonna work on offense. Quick feed to Taves. Denies him, he got all of it. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Tries to get the puck to Taves. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. time left in this frame. The Jets are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He's got a little jump. He's in. Oh, oh. Denies him on the breakaway. Takes a shot. Again the denial by the goaltender. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Avs have had more scoring chances, more shots, but they still trail early in period number two. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. Feeds it up ahead. The Avs take it along the wall. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Jets win the draw on their own end. Slides it across to Niederreiter. Gaining steam here on the attack. Gets in front of him. Moves it to Dillon. He might have a step here. He's in all alone. Great save. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Manson's taking it from his own end. Moves the puck into the D zone. Passed up ahead. And he takes the feed. Shot! Quick stop by Hellebuck. 
Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey, putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hand the puck. And a solid save on the play there. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is the score. The Jets come up with the defensive zone draw. Quick pass to Johnson. On the backhand! Oh, on the play! Wow! As a true competitor save, just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Moves around along the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Wagner. Down the right side and into the zone. Dumps it in. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Here they come on the attack. And that's hooked away. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Winnipeg's widen the gap here with another goal. It's now a three-goal lead. Yeah, and it's hard to believe that they put three by because they haven't had many shots. Yeah, their shooting percentage has gone through the roof, but the game overall has not been good. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Rantanen. Here's a chance! Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Great four check by Rantanen. Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save! It was all the game, James, and that Still lots of time left in the period. Winnipeg's got a three-goal lead. The Avs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Good check. Freeze the puck up. The Jets have it against the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes that pass back at the point. Blocked in traffic. Feeds it down low. Takes the puck along the boards. Snaps it on net. Oh, glove saved by Hillebuck. The Avs really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Connors going to the box for tripping. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work they haven't scored yet in the game on the power play but no need to get frustrated they all bring a different skill set it's the reason why they're out there and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play another big face off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight got the puck inside the offensive zone. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. And they send it down the ice. And that's knocked away by Sandberg. Trying to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Colorado's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. Picked up along the boards by Girard. The Jets gain possession. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. The Avs move it in. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Sandberg. Turn that one aside. Connor's up and ready to get back on the ice. The Avs get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. A great start there. All alone! Oh, this is the net! Oh. oh, that's a tough one, James, when you're in that spot and you're unable to put it between the pipe. But I think he just rushed his shot, and as you can see, it clanged off the end boards. Fantastic save! 
And he elects to play the puck. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Rocks him. Pionk's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Colorado's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. I'm working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Puck dumped in. Throws one up to Malarney. He carries the puck up along the wing. Feeds it across. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Puck sails out of the bench, sending a few people ducking. Shifley's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Winnipeg's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Slides it up front. Monaghan's got it along the wing. Sends it to the middle. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Close save, and the play continues. Look at this attack here in the O zone. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Driving right to the front. Scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. And they used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. Winnipeg's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here in period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick. They're working their magic. They're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Connor's got the puck. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. And that puck leaves the zone. Setting up behind his own net now. And it's a quick pass to Lykanen. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they clock it up at center. And he can't hang on after that hit. Taken by Manson. Feeds the puck to Rantanen. Battling for it along the boards. Passes it to Manson. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Shot! Big time stop! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Avs have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Sends it down low. Here's a shot. Gets in the lane with the body. And that's stopped by Hellebuck. Bumped off the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. O'Connor's been nabbed for tripping. <laughs> Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it 
working tonight. And he slides it quickly to Cogliano. Skates to the crease. Poked away in the defensive end. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Nita Ryan. Denies him! Moves into the slot. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Perfetti's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity. That's courage in finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. From the point, they take control of it. And he comes up with a huge stop. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Slides the puck to Cogliano. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Late goings of this period. The Jets lead it 4-0. They have dominated. The Avs take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Steps across the blue line. Sets the feet in front. And he's he scores! Nothing boring about that. Sean Monaghan capitalizes. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He dropped it perfectly and got himself set to position. James, I thought he had got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Winnipeg's been feeling good all night long, and look at where we're at here. We're still in the late stages of the period here. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable game for them so far. I mean, they've just been so dominant offensively. Their opponent really doesn't know what to do. They're trying to slow the game down, but they can't because they're just on fire in terms of pace and dictating it. Colorado's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Thomas the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. They win the draw and go on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect. Great touch. Period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Colorado's been holding on to the puck a ton. They've been doing a real good job of protecting and shielding the puck, but it just hasn't translated into generation of offense. they got to continue to work on that through the third period. They are trailing, but it's right on them. You can feel it's on their stick, James. It's just a matter of getting another one. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Connor's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Moves it to Taves. 
Princeton. That's blocked by Hillema. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Colorado's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they cannot convert trailing early in the third. Scheifele's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by McKinnon. Oh, what a save in front. Quick pass to the car. Referee's singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I used to cut the palms out of my gloves so I could hold, but anytime you're a step behind and you reach with one hand, you're going to the box. to get back to work and the power play has not been good tonight but it's not about what happened or what's going to happen it is about right now and finding a way to create some momentum on this one quick pass over to Taves and that goes off a of body trying to gain a step oh makes a save oh and this is a great save you can see this one-on-one -on -one battle and the goaltender is so dialed in tracking and makes that save Forces the turnover. And the puck leaves the zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Johansson stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Taves. Passing through. Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Jets get a hold of the puck under man. They get it out of the defensive end. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he slides and cuts it to Taves. The Avs come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. In any team, you have to have players who are willing to buy in and execute on their role. And this team, this PK unit, certainly delivering in that area. Each player knows exactly what they have to do. They're getting out there. They're doing it. How surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender. The Avalanche have been dominated all night long and here we go. They finally catch a break now in the third. Yeah, they really haven't had an answer to their opponent. They've been on their heels the entire game. There's only one thing to do right now and it is attack from all areas of the ice. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Great heads-up play with the stick by Morrissey. Slides it diagonally to Byron. Handles the puck. Grabs it with the glove. Hellebuck's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Colorado's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Across the line along the left wall. Intercepted in the offensive end by Shifley. Puck sent over to Wood. Gains the zone through center. A chance at front. Stopped by the goaltender. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat. Nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. The Jets send their net advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Carries it across the line. and they deliver tonight. Power play strikes James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. Winnipeg's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. 
Great balance as he scoops it back up. Puck picked up by Shifley. Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by Anunen. And some good footwork to kick it away. Grabbed along the board by McKinnon. Knocked away by Morrissey. Grabs it in his own end. Pass taken behind the goal. And he feeds it down to Connor. And he takes the feed. Velarde's carrying it ahead. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. On the attack along the boards. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Colorado's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Great reach with the poke check. Quick feed down low. Shot. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Hellebuck's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the faceoff. Johansson's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Quick feed to Barron. Puck sent in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. Colorado's playing it through the neutral zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Jets will play it in their own end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Dillon. Across the line from center. Here's a shot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Colton. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Fantastic save! Niederreiter's moving the puck through his own zone. Shot! Oh, wow, what a pass save by Anunen! Poked away by Appleton. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Takes a bump but hangs on. And misses on the tip. Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Through center along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Ewers. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. has been with us all night, standing by once again at ringside. Hellebuck's efforts have given this team a chance to win this game, guys. Given our matchup, it's hard not to give him the edge. How did he stop that one? Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Rantanen's a pure goal scorer, but he just can't find the back of the net tonight. They may have to consider an adjustment here because they really need one to get back in this game. This is a blowout right now. And that's intercepted by Lekanen. Moves it to Rantanen. Takes the pass. Great reach with the poke check by Schmidt. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Scooped up along the wall by Rantanen. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Shot. Oh, what a save with the glove by Anunen. Gaining momentum up along the side. He grabs the puck here at the point. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Connor's got it through the neutral zone. And a stick break setup. Takes the feed. Puck grabbed by Kivaranta. And there's the save! Sends the pass over. Kiviranta has made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Takes a shot! You'll need more than that to beat him. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Avs continue to trail here in the third period, despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Shifley's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. 
Winnipeg's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Connor. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Colton's gonna play it against the half wall. Oh, he got all that. What a save by Hellebuck. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here's a chance on the attack. And he loses control of the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Stops him with the ball. The Avs coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Ahead of steam now towards the front. With possession along the wall. Slides it back to the blue line. He tips it. Big time stop. Keeps possession. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Oh, great save here. Look at this attack here in the own zone. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. McKinnon's taking it from his own end. Makes a move in front. Scores! Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but they at least have started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Colorado's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. And that's off a stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Picked up by Hellebuck. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Avs win that offensive zone face-off. Takes it along the wall by Lekanen. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick pass to Barrett. Up along the wing. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Colorado's crossed the line and on the attack. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Perfetti's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dillon. Let's get the call here. Well, this penalty is going to be inconsequential, but I'll tell you, with every goal that the opponent has gotten, man, the energy has just been zapped out of this group. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. When a power play is operating like this and so successful, yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. Colorado's moving it up the ice. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Quick feed to Malorty. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Colorado's got possession while under man. Strong use of the body. Some solid defensive work in the row end with the poke check. Stopped by the goaltender. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Fans are yeah, they appreciate it, don't they? And it's not just the entertainment value of the flash and 
dash, but also the simple effectiveness of the old school playoff hockey, just closing up the ice, finishing a check, and making a simple first pass. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Jim Cebulski. See ya.